After an immensely long wait full of several delays, Altair have finally released their Yuzuruha from Muramasa. This was one of those figures I had no qualms about instantly pre-ordering. It's from a source material I love, it has a complex sculpt, it's sexy but also classy, and it's Altair. What's not to love? Firstly, a word on her wonderful box. Altair just know how to do them. This box follows the same pattern as the other Altair Muramasa boxes, and that's a good thing. The leaves on the window are such a beautiful touch. Let's jump right into the highlight of the figure for me, which is her sculpt. Specifically all that hair. I'm not surprised she was delayed so much because her hair is way more complex than I expected from the photos. It's not until you take a good look behind her you realise how much there actually is and how much there is going on. It's all flowing too, giving her a lovely sense of motion and making her a surprisingly dynamic figure considering that she's just standing still. However, I must admit that from behind I could definitely pick flaws at her hair. I can see some places where strands have clearly been glued on and her sculpt is cleaner in some places than others. Keep in mind though that, as far as I can tell, it's only from behind and it isn't visible from the angle that everyone will be displaying her at. Even with those minor flaws, uh, her hair is still quite a marvel. The sculpt on this kimono is crazy. I recently reviewed uh, Stronger's Miku, who is wearing a kimono, and although it's lovely, this is just on another level. The contorted way her kimono is sculpted accentuates her proportions. It's actually kind of clever. The paint job should not be overlooked, though. Her skin is much paler than, say, Momohime's, which only makes sense considering that she's a deity. Even her oil paper umbrella, and yes, I did look up the technical term for that, has plenty of shading. They could have easily gotten away with a flat colour, but as usual, Altair spare no expense. Yuzuruha's kimono doesn't have a pattern, but they've made up for that with an abundance of shading, giving it a natural look. It could have looked so flat in the hands of a lesser manufacturer. If you've played the game, you'll know that Yuzuruha wasn't lacking in suggestiveness, and her sex appeal has been wonderfully portrayed in this figure, thanks to her alluring gaze, soft-looking skin, beautifully painted lips, and the open collar of her kimono which gives you a small look at her shoulders. And of course, then you have her butt. And what a butt. In fact, I've actually seen some complaints about how exaggerated her butt is, but if you ask me, they're simply being faithful to the source material. I mean, have you seen the boobs in that game? And, I mean, the booty isn't even the most over-the-top aspect of this figure. Look at the hair! This base is perfect. As simple as that. The base creates a setting and a scene for the figure, the reeds add a sense of motion, the rocks and stones have a beautiful texture, it's the perfect non-intrusive size, and all of it is detailed in sculpt and painting. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? So, as you can probably gather, this is an overwhelmingly good figure. Yes, I did have a few qualms about her hair, but it's so minor it's not even close to a deal breaker. It's another amazing Muramasa figure and another exceptional effort by Altair. But is anyone even surprised at this point? Personally, I would predict that this figure is going to skyrocket in price, so you might want to get in quick if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and happy collecting. Uh, bye bye